Okay, video number three, and to just sort of round off the point that I was making, and number two, if Sherber is still watching, um, it was it wasn't until six years later uh, when I said uh, when I realized I couldn't do it myself, and um, that I uh, decided that uh, I said if if God, if you are who you say you are, I'm gonna. Put all my trust in Jesus Christ, and whatever happens, happens. And that's the day that I was born of the Spirit of God, and it was very exciting. It it is very exciting, and um, I wanted to tell everybody about it. And I remember all those key times in my past. Uh, for example, that, that that time in Minnesota, when uh, somebody told me to that I should start believing now because of the prophecies right i met that guy for not even 10 minutes and had an impact on my life like you wouldn't believe so i would like to have uh, an impact on somebody's life if that's possible in a, in a same sort of way so i'm i try to be mindful uh, if i run into somebody you know a, a stranger whether it's a you know if you're a close friend of mine you know that i'm going to talk about this stuff all the time but if i've never met you before i I would, it would be my pleasure to walk up to somebody and, and uh, give them, uh, uh, plant that seed, if you will, about who Jesus Christ is. And and there's no way for me to know if that has any impact on anybody's life. But uh, the what was done to me certainly had an amazing impact on my life. So uh, the next comment best waste of time I've ever had. Can't thank you enough. You really opened my eyes with this. God bless. And this is in reference to a video. Uh, I think uh, this was a while back. I, I'm not really sure what it was about, but I think it was possibly about, okay, so you've got, you've got all these futurists and you've got all these preterists. So all the futurists think all these things are going to happen in the future. You know, like there's going to be a coming antichrist in the future. There's going to be a, a third temple being built in the future there's going to be microchips in people's foreheads in the future and you know there's going to be transhumanism there's going to be people turned into uh lizards and robots and all this sort of stuff and then you've got preterists who say everything in the bible's already happened and, and so you know essentially the the impression i get from them is you don't have to read it because it doesn't apply to anything going on in the world today and you've heard this phrase that the the truth is often somewhere in the middle. Well, I hate that phrase. Can't stand it. But in this case, it, it you could, I mean, it's it's kind of true because, I mean, it is true in, in the sense that uh, the prophecies in the Bible are happening right now. And I think it's really on us to be able to identify with what the Bible says, with what we see in the real world. I think that's uh, key to understanding uh, what's happening around us. And uh, so um, the, I think the point I made in this video is that, okay, let's say, um, you know, you think people are going to be turned into lizards and robots and that uh, there's going to be uh, this imaginary antichrist. Well, what happens if Jesus comes today? You're going to say, no, 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 Jesus, you can't come today. You got to go back, go back because we haven't, we don't got the antichrist yet. People aren't getting microchips in their forehead can't come back yet is that what you is that where you're gonna be it's like that movie uh, with uh, I think Dana Carvey or somebody like that from SNL where uh, he a number of times he says is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back you know uh, and th so that you know that that kind of applies to these futurists who say all these things are gonna happen in the future and they're not gonna happen so when G if Jesus comes back today are you gonna are you going to forbid him? Are you going to say, no, no, you can't do it, right? So, I mean, I think that's the point I was making in that video. So, uh, appreciate that comment. And this here, I think this was a clown post. You uh, feel free to elaborate. Fermented milk, I don't even know what that is. Is that cottage cheese? I don't know. Yeah, your name says a lot about yourself there, and I think Fred might be giggling about something goofy I said in this video here. I'm not really sure. All right. So, uh, I got, uh, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to probably do one more video because there's something I want to talk about.